I would love to. Okay, so our new record is called Victorious. And um, I got so much to say about this record. I'm so pumped up about it. Of course, you're always excited about a new record, unless you hate the people you made it with. That happened once. This one I'm excited about. <laughs> um, but uh, so excited about the record. It, it's, a, it's a record of, like, fight songs. And one of the things I think I want to tell people uh, is that we kind of have a culture right now where people are being told, like, Every day is going to be awesome, you know, uh, like like Lego movie. Everything is awesome. I don't know if you know this, all that, but it was awesome. Everything's awesome. Every day is better than the last. And and I think that people are, are genuinely shocked that life isn't great every single day. And uh, I feel like I want to tell people, you, you can be victorious through the trials of life, but life is going to suck sometimes. It's going to be hard. You're going to fight with your spouse. Your kids are going to do stupid stuff sometimes. You're going to do stupid stuff. Business isn't always going to be great. You're guaranteed to have a lot of bad things happen, but you can fight through that to be victorious. Being legendary isn't about being the awesomest person in the world and everything I do I crush. It's about being proud of who you are. It's about having goals in your life of who you want to be. Um, maybe that's a parent, you know, a father, a mother, a husband, whatever it is that you want to do. Do it the very best you can and uh, and be proud of who you are. So that's kind of, to me, what the legendary life is all about. And I guess the specific thing that I think is kind of funny is that when I wrote this line, there's a line in the chorus that says, uh, one second now, I may, you made me forget my lyric, honey. Uh, what, what did it say? Never, thank you. See? Jen knows him. I got all you. right. <laughs> it says, never going to keep me down, still the one that's standing now. And the reason I really like it is because I just specifically remember, you know, being on a, uh, on a tour and having someone else's agent. I was opening for a band and someone else's agent came up to me after a show and he was basically like, you guys are a really good band. You could be a big band if you st started doing this and this and this and this. <laughs> and it's like all the things that, that I don't want to do, you know, and he's like, you guys could be really big if you change all these things about who you are because people don't like... Um, some of the spiritual references of your songs. Uh, the girl stuff is kind of cool, but you guys are a little feminine. Uh, you know, maybe it's a little too much on the keyboards. Maybe uh, your personality. I'm kind of a jokester, so I'm always kind of like chatty and goofy as opposed to like the mysterious rock star. And I was listening to him thinking, those are all the things that make Skillet Skillet. Well, thank you very much. You know, I think that one of the reasons that Skillet is able to, to, to bridge so many different kinds of people um, is that we're just very authentic. I think we've never tried to be somebody that we're not. I think great music should make you, you know, you respond to it because you believe what someone's singing about. And I think that people feel that with Skillet all the time. You know, I, got, I had a tweet yesterday and they said, I want you to know I'm an atheist. I don't get the Jesus stuff, but your music makes me feel really good. Thanks for being someone that, that makes me get through my day. And I tweeted him back. I'm like, that's great. Music should bring people together because it's universal. Thank you.